All right, it's that time again to answer your Facebook questions about the coronavirus. And joining us once again is the Lieutenant Governor and the state's COVID-19 liaison, Dr. Josh Green. Okay, Doc, ready for all the questions? You bet. All right, the first question comes from Rob Deverell. He wants to know, when can we expect the indoor mask mandate to be dropped? Some of us are struggling to wear a face covering for long periods of time for health reasons. I think the indoor mask mandates will probably be the last thing to go. I would not be surprised if it happens in the new year. Please keep in mind, Rob, that if you have a health condition, your doctor can write you a note. Like if you've got chronic lung disease and you can't wear a mask, then we do allow for exceptions. Uh, so we don't want to impose on people in that way. But indoor settings when people may or may not be vaccinated are the most risky still. The next question comes from Browning Clark. Why are we the only state with gathering restrictions on the vaccinated? Where is that sentiment coming from? Dr. Libby Char, Department of Health. Why are we not following the CDC? Well, Director Char is very conservative, as is the governor, and so that's why they've maintained some of those restrictions. As you know, I'd like to see all restrictions lifted on outdoor activities, especially uh, when people are so well vaccinated. We're almost at 95% vaccinated uh, for those who are eligible. So it's really moving forward. Uh, that is something that we have to continue to express ourselves with the governor and the director of health. We did panic in a way when we got to 448 people in the hospital because we have a smaller healthcare footprint in our state and there's nowhere to go. You can't just drive across the border and get health care. So they've been a little bit more conservative. Again, and I would like to lift those restrictions on outdoor activities as soon as possible. The next question is from Megan Franks and she wants to know, I don't understand. It's extremely unlikely for kids 5 to 11 to have issues with COVID. So why subject them to such horrendous life altering vaccine risks? Well, the question is framed in a little bit of a tough way because it hasn't been life altering or negative on kids who get the vaccine, but I understand her concern as a mom. So our 14 year old got vaccinated. It was very safe. I support it. There have been children who get sick enough to go into the hospital. About 1% of all pediatric cases of COVID end up with hospitalizations and some can be very sick. It is still going to obviously be a choice of the parents. So parents should talk to their pediatricians and make that decision. 67% of all of our adolescents have been vaccinated. They're doing really well with minimal side effects. And the last question is from David Hill. He wants to know, why are there very few J&J &J boosters available locally? My wife got the J&J &J vaccine back in March in Hilo and would like to stick with the J&J &J booster shot, but it's not available here locally. Why is that? Uh, it was just not as prevalent. The vaccine also had a pause, and then that was because there were blood clots, though very, very few, in a small subset of women taking the vaccine in their middle age. So uh, that kind of settled down the number of vaccines that we got. We got a lot more Pfizer and Moderna, and most people are following up with Pfizer and Moderna. But if people go to HawaiiCOVID19.com, they will find a place where they can get that booster. I was doing boosters over on the west side this last weekend, and we had boosters of Johnson Johnson, Moderna, and Pfizer. So you might just have to look a little harder. It is very effective, over 95% protection, we're told, when people get both Johnson and Johnson shots uh, more than two months apart. And Lieutenant Governor, you want to give a best special shout out to a very lovely lady in your life? Yes, actually. There, well, there's lovely ladies in Jamie and Maya in my life, but also my mom. It's my mom's 78th birthday, so happy birthday, mom. I love you. All right. Good son there. All right, thank you very much, Lieutenant Governor, for answering the questions and for the shout-out. And, of course, we'll see you next week.